Good morning, dreamers. Another day with a start of water. Um, today is uh, Starbucks day. So we've had Tim's on Monday, McDonald's on Tuesday, and W yesterday. And today is for regular pike roast at Starbucks. Jimmy has a narrow win with McDonald's so far. Very narrow. Um, and if A&W had flavor shots, they would be the clear winner so far. Who knows what's going to happen when Starbucks is tasted. But it was, I was thinking about it and I was just like, you know, as we're in this Lenten season leading up to Easter, so many of us celebrate it differently. And to those without faith, it must look so weird. Like, why don't you all just do the same thing? How come you over there do this? How come you put ashes on your face? How come you don't put ashes on your face? How come it's Catholic? How come it's uh, Anglican? How come it's not Baptist? How come it's not, 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 but, but you all claim to be Christian. And it must be so weird to someone without faith looking in going, it's odd. I don't even know why. Why are you doing this? But one of the things about Lent for me is traditions and it's, um, if we have an advent leading up to his birth, then Lent leading up to the remembrance of his death and burial and resurrection is so important because what it does is it allows you to slow down. I know that's Sarah Bessie's thing for Lent is that they're slowing down. The hurry, the rush of life is going to be purposefully pulled back. And there's so many that are off social media. I'm not going to do that because they're taking a break from the things that stress us and they're focusing their minds on what's important. On what's important. I know that when um, my, I was, if I were ever in stress and I was ever grumbling with my mom or talking with her about dot, 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 she, was, she would just start singing. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. And it's such a good reminder and many people don't like that answer because it's trite and it's whatever. No, it's serious. Turn your eyes to Jesus. He's got your back, man. He's got you. And we are all in the Christian faith right now choosing to turn our eyes to Jesus in different ways. We are different individuals created differently, created uniquely. And as long as we are turning our eyes to Jesus, how isn't as important. Usually I'm, because I'm a, such a word girl, I'm like, it's not the what, it's the how. But this time for Lent, how we turn to Jesus is not nearly as important as the fact that we're turning to Jesus. And so like coffee, there's going to be different flavors and there's going to be different customers to different and no, I'm not saying the church is com consumerism. We can talk about that some other day. It'll be a lot longer than four minutes and I got to wrap it up. But as Jimmy's going to pick a favorite coffee that speaks to him in the morning. Good morning, dreamers. There's going to be a favorite blend, a favorite way of taking your coffee, a favorite source of that coffee. But ultimately, it's coffee. And those that don't understand that because they don't enjoy coffee, they go, it's all the same. Ugh, gross. Get it out of here. But for those that enjoy it and love it and they connect with it, no, actually, it's very unique to me and how I enjoy a fresh cup of coffee. 
So there's reasons why there are denominations, there are reasons why there are different traditions, there are reasons why A, B, and C, and we all say we're Christian because ultimately it's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. And if I use my coffee to go, ugh, I like mine black, you like yours triple triple, that's not real coffee. And I do this down the, mm, mm, mm. And I'm giving coffee drinkers a bad name. You know where I'm going with this. If I use my faith, if I use my holy text, if I use my the name of my Savior to oppress and insult others, it's not representing him well. It's not representing him well. Anyway, food for thought today as Jimmy goes about his which coffee does he like the best week. We should just get them all up here and line them up and do a taste test like on Good Mythical Morning. Oh, and by the way, there's no payment for any of these brands we're talking about. Nothing about dropping Good Mythical Morning. But yeah, if you just want some fun in your life, go to YouTube. You're already on YouTube. So switch over to Good Mythical Morning and just have some fun. Remember what we said yesterday about fun? Fun. Love you. I have some time dreaming today and make sure they're sweet. <laughs>